learnt about the various kinds of participles. We know that participles are of three kinds, the past participle, the present participle and the perfect participle. Now let us quickly recapitulate what are present participles. So present participles are verbs that end in ing. They represent an action in progress or an action that takes place immediately before another action. They can also be used as an adjective. What are past participles? Now past participles can take various forms. We can have verbs that end in ed, d or ied in case of regular verbs or we can have verbs that end with en, t or n in case of irregular verbs or we can have completely new verb forms in case of irregular verbs. Now past participles may either represent a completed action or they can behave like an adjective in a sentence. Now let us work with a few examples. The neighbor saw the boy breaking the window. Let us first identify the participle in this sentence. So the participle in this sentence is breaking and what does it show? It shows an action in progress. Hence, this ing verb form which shows an action in progress is the present participle. Broken by the storm, the house needs new walls. Let us identify the participle in this sentence. Broken. Now we know broken is the past participle and here it shows an action that has been completed. So this word broken is the past participle. The channel flashed the breaking news in the middle of the talk show. Now what is the participle in this sentence? Breaking is the participle in this sentence and what kind of participle is it? We see that the verb form is an ing verb form and this ing verb form describes the noun news so it is acting as an adjective here. So in this sentence breaking is the present participle. Dad repaired the broken gramophone. Now what is the participle in this sentence? broken. Now broken here is the past participle which is acting as an adjective because it is describing the noun gramophone. Broken is the past participle here. Now we know that both the present participle as well as the past participle can act as an adjective. So let us see. In this sentence, the channel flashed the breaking news in the middle of the talk show. Breaking is the present participle because it is the ing form of the verb break and it is describing the noun news. In the second sentence, dad repaired the broken gramophone. Broken is the past participle which is describing the noun gramophone. Both breaking and broken have been formed from the same verb break. Now we know that the participles can also show an action in progress or a completed action. Now the present participle which is the ing form of a verb show an action in progress. So in this sentence the neighbor saw the boy breaking the window. Breaking is showing an action in progress. But in this sentence, broken by the storm, the house needs new walls. Broken shows a completed action. Hence, broken has been used as the past participle. Now, let us do this exercise. Fill in the blank with the suitable participle form of the given verb. The boy dashed to the hospital has recovered. And the verb given to us is Take. Now we know that the boy who was taken to the hospital has recovered. So taken is the past participle form of the verb take which shows an action that has been completed. What about this sentence? 
the dash horse was soon out of sight and the verb given to us is gallop. Now can we say the galloped horse was soon out of sight? It does not make any sense. Who is performing the action? The horse is performing the action. So the horse who was galloping was soon out of sight. So we will write the galloping horse was soon out of sight. So we have used the ing form of the verb gallop to describe the horse here. Now we have learned that apart from the present participle and the past participle, there is another kind of participle known as the perfect participle. What is the perfect participle? Perfect participles demonstrate an action that was completed sometime in the past. They usually refer to an action which happened before another action. And how do we form the perfect participle? We add having to the past participle form of a verb to make the perfect participle. Having repaired the car, I sent it to the owner. So in this sentence, having repaired is the perfect participle and how have we formed the perfect participle? We have added having along with the past participle form of the verb repair. And having repaired shows an action which has happened before another action. What was the action which happened later? I sent it to the owner. Before I sent it to the owner, I repaired the car. So what did we learn today? Today we have learnt about participles that they are non-finite verb forms. Now participles can either function as adjectives or they can show whether an action is continuous or completed. Participles possess the features of both a verb and an adjective and hence are known as verbal adjectives. Participles can be of three types the present participle, the past participle and the perfect participle. I hope you can now identify participles in sentences easily. All you have to do is practice. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.